Hey guys, this is Bharat from Team RK Tutors and in this video we'll be showing you how to render a site plan in Photoshop and all the tips and tricks you need to know about for a quality render. So let's begin. So basically this is a site plan we have in the PDF format and let's open this in Photoshop and get started. And import this as an art box, press OK. Go to the move tool. So when you import the CAD drawing from a PDF format into Photoshop, it doesn't actually have the background. So first let's create a background layer. So create a new layer. And use the shortcut Shift plus Backspace to fill. Fill the white color, press OK. So now we have this background layer. And let's rename both the layers, DWG Drawing and background and I'm also going to lock this background layer so it doesn't get moved now let's start this with the road first I'm going to select all these outer roads using the want tool or the shortcut W now that we have this selection for the roads click on new layer rename this as road and fill it with the white color. Use the shortcut Shift plus Backspace to fill. Choose the white color and press OK. Right click and deselect everything. So now I have this image, a bitmap for the asphalt that I'll be using as the rod. So open this in Photoshop. Click on Add it to actually define this as a pattern. Click on the Define Pattern option. So you can rename this anything you want. Press OK. Now you can find this from the layer properties. Go to Pattern Overlay and select this asphalt image. Change its opacity a little bit. Maybe I'll set it to 75. And you can adjust the scale and add bevels and contours to basically have more depth in the texture basically to add more depth on the edges around this texture adjust the size of it and the opacity I think this is fine and press OK to apply what I want to do is basically to adjust its opacity and set it to around 60. I think this looks better. And let's go to the layer options and adjust bevels. So what I'm trying is to make them more visible. Now you see there's some text that is left out. Let's fix that by rectangular selection. Use the M for shortcut. Make this selection and the hit the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill white color. Press OK and do it on all the texts. Now that it is fixed, let's put this rod layer into a folder and call it rod. Next up, and let's select all the rods that are inside this site using the want tool. Create a new layer. Use the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill and fill white color. Press OK. Let's rename this layer. Now what I'm going to do is basically to copy the layer state of the layer we created previously and paste it onto the new layer. So that way we can save a lot of time. But I'll adjust its opacity. I'll rather decrease the opacity to 40 and make it lighter than the roads outside the side boundary. Now on this layer we have some text that we can fix. So use the rectangular selection tool or use the shortcut M and make all these selections of this text. So let's quickly just do that. Now that we have made all this selection of the text, 
Hit the shortcut Shift plus Backspace and press OK to apply. So now we have that fixed. Moving on to the next part we have here Grass Bitmap. Let's quickly make it into a pattern. First crop this image so that we have nice rectangular bitmap. And click on add it and define pattern. Name it grass, press OK. And make the selection wherever there's green outside the side boundary by using want tool shortcut W. So once the selection is made, create a new layer, fill the white color, shift plus backspace to go to fill and apply. Rename the layer and here what I'll do is add it to the folder. Let's call it grass or green and deselect everything. Go to the layer properties, the pattern overlay and here we can apply that grass texture we just created. This seems fine and let's also add bevels to this texture. And also adjust the size of bevels. Press OK to apply. So this looks fine. So before start working inside the site boundary, let's add a texture to the background. Go to the drawing layer and make the selection of the background using a wand tool. Hit the M key from the keyboard to go to the rectangular selection tool and make selections underneath this text and add the selections holding the Alt key from the keyboard. Now that selection is done, create a new layer. I'll rename these as surroundings and hit the shortcut for fill, shift plus backspace and I'll go with something around grey. Press apply and drag and drop this layer into a folder and rename this folder as surroundings. and add a mask to this folder. So drag and drop this on the mask and reverse the selection and press delete. Now all that area is neglected from the mask and now deselect everything. And here I've got this image that I want to apply on the background or on the surroundings. So let's drag and drop this onto Photoshop. And you see this is only applying where the mask is on. Adjust the size of this image. So I think this is in position. Press apply. And reduce the fill to maybe 40 or 45. So we get little transparency onto this image. Okay, since now this image is all set, let's add more details to this. So create a new layer. And go to the brush option with shortcut B and choose a white color and choose a soft brush and what I'll do is basically apply this brush around the edges of this texture. So we get this feel of the gradient at the edges and maybe adjust the opacity a little bit. That's fine. and make another layer but this time using the black color onto the brush. Let's add some color at the edges of this side plan or the side boundary. So this will give it more depth. So basically covering up all the corners. And 
and make it a multiply and adjust its opacity okay that looks better and with the eraser tool let's refine all these corners so we get a very smooth sort of touch at the corners so this is how it looks we have this pattern and the gradient going over to the edge so now let's start working inside this site boundary or the site plan and select all these areas where the grass is or the green is I'm using the wand tool with the shortcut W you can have the wand tool so these are some patches where the grass is coming around the plazas and the amphitheater We can use polygon selection tool to make this last selection. Go to the previous folder where we had the grass pattern. Create a new layer and go to the fill command shift plus backspace fill the white color apply. And here also we can just simply copy the layer state right click copy and paste it onto the new layer and I'll adjust its opacity go to the layer properties and for this I'm removing bevels but going to the pattern overlay I'll adjust the scale and the opacity of this Now to deselect everything you can either right click and deselect or press the shortcut Ctrl plus D. So on here we have a little bit of error that we can fix. We can fix that just go to a drawing layer and click on this selection using the wand tool and now go to road and use the shortcut for fill and we have this sort of a line arrow in drawing. Let's just erase this by using the eraser tool. And use the rectangular selection for this part. Go to road and fill it with white color. So that was an easy fix. And on to the left we have some part missing as well. So go to the grass layer, let's rename this and select this missing part by using the wand tool and fill it with the white color. For the next part let's select all these footpaths from the drawing and fill them with the color. Use the wand tool to make all these selections. Create a new layer and use the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill it with the color. Go to the layer options and here I'll go with some color overlay. Maybe I'll use a color something around brown. And click apply now there's some part that we can cover with the grass now there's some part around the boundary that we can apply the grass texture on 
So select this with the wand tool and go to the grass layer. Shift plus backspace to fill it with the white color. Press apply. Now let's apply the color to this pedestrian path face as well around the housing units. Select them with the wand tool, create a new layer. Let's rename this as pedestrian. And fill them with a white color. Go to the color overlay. I think this looks better. Press OK to apply and Ctrl plus D to deselect everything. So now let's also select these tilts by using the wand tool. Create a new layer and fill them with white color and go to color overlay to apply a color. I'm using color lay option because later I can actually change them if I want without having to make the selections again. So I'll go with something around the yellow or light yellow. That seems perfect. I rename this as tilts and let's start working on the housing units. So I'll select a core of housing units by the want to create a new layer. Basically select all these cores at once. There we go. Shift plus backspace to fill them. And I'll use something around gray. Press OK. And basically move this layer into a folder. Let's rename this folder as housing units. Ctrl D to deselect everything. So let's just make selection for the one unit. Create a new layer and make this selection. I'm using the rectangular selection tool for this. Shift plus backspace to fill the color. I'll fill it with some green color. So to suggest that it's a green roof. and press OK to apply and create another layer and make selection of these hanging balconies by using the rectangular selection tool shift plus backspace and I'll use gray color this time very light sort of gray color and press OK to apply and Ctrl D to deselect everything. Now what I can do is just copy these two layers onto the another housing unit that are of the same size. So hold Alt plus Shift to actually copy all these layers. Okay now this housing unit is basically of a different size so we need to create a new layer for this. and fill it with the green color. Press OK to apply and make another layer for the balconies. 
Select all these balconies by rectangular selection tool. And fill it with the grey color. And press apply. And copy these two layers onto the another housing unit of the same size. You can copy them by holding Alt plus Shift and drag. And onto the last housing unit. So now we are done with the housing units. And since all these layers are in a folder, we can adjust their opacity at once. I'll change them to 80%. And onto here we have this bit of an error that we can fix. Just remove this part from the layer of the grass. Hit delayed. And that's it. Now let's start with the part where the water bodies are coming. So make the selection for all the water bodies. I'm using wand tool to make all the selections. And this pool also use the rectangular selection tool to select this. And at last all these plazas around the commercial area create a new layer and I'll rename these as water bodies and go to the fill command by using shift plus backspace and I'll choose something around a blue color to fill them this seems perfect press ok to apply And having this selection made, let's move them into a group. Name it as water bodies. And apply a mask onto this group. And reverse the selection by using Ctrl Shift and I. And now that the reverse selection is made, hit delete. So now we can apply a photo bitmap on this. Let's open this with Photoshop. What I'll do is basically select a segment of this. So go to rectangular selection tool, make this selection. Right click and make copy of this and drag and drop onto our folder. So you see this already looks great over this surface and make multiple copies of this using Alt plus Shift. and onto the pool and these plazas and also let's change the opacity of all these layers So this looks fine now. Right click on these layers and merge them into one layer. So what I want is basically some reflection onto this. So to do that let's create another layer. And turn the color to white. And using the soft brush tool we can actually add some reflection onto this. So this will actually make it look even better as it's reflecting some sun. Now 
Now that we have done with this, let's move on to the another part and add some material to this deck around these water bodies. So make the selection of this using the rectangular selection tool. Accept these water bodies so you can remove them from selection by holding the ALT key. So let's quickly make all these selections. And make selection around these plazas as well. Now that we have them selected, click on the new layer, rename this layer and fill a color to this layer. So I'll go with something around a brown color that basically depicts wood. And add this into a folder. Rename this folder. Reverse this selection and add a mask to this folder. And press delete. Now we can deselect this selection by using Ctrl plus D and add a bitmap onto this folder. Let's drag and drop this bitmap onto the DAC folder. Change its opacity and resize this. Use the shortcut Ctrl plus T. So we have these transformation tools. Now we can make multiple copies of this layer. So now we can actually work on the details of this site plan starting with the temple. So I'll make the selection with the wand tool where the grass should be around the temple. Go to the grass layer. Use the fill command to fill the white. Press OK to apply. And make a new layer for this pavement. And I'll be using some grey color for these pavements. That looks perfect. And at last, make a rectangular selection around this temple. Create a new layer. And apply a color on this. Okay, that looks good enough. Maybe I'll make it a little lighter. And move them into basically a folder. I'll name it as temple. Color this amphitheater as well. Select it by using polygon selection tool. Create a new layer and use the command fill to fill a color. And I'll rename this as Amphi. So let's move on to the playgrounds. And in here the outer surfaces should be grass. So select them, go to the grass layer and fill with the white color. And make the selections for this courts as well. I'll use a rectangular selection tool. And create a new layer. Use the shortcut shift plus backspace to go to fill. So let's make selections around the Roma garden. This should be green. I'll use the wand tool to make these selections. Go to the grass layer. Use the shortcut shift plus backspace to fill the white color. Press OK. And onto this footpath. 
let's apply something great. So for this clubhouse I've worked on the roof already. Let's drag and drop it onto this file and adjust its placement. And now we can work on the deck around this clubhouse also. So I'm making selection by the polygon tool for this deck. And remove some selection from here using the rectangular selection tool. Create a new layer and fill this with a brown color. I think that seems fine. And press apply. I'll rename it as pool deck. Maybe I'll just change its color a little bit and control plus D to deselect everything. So now let's get done with these plazas in the commercial zone. Select them with the wand tool, create a new layer and apply a color to this. So basically we have used different materials in this plaza. Rename the layer as plaza. Make another selection for this pedestrian pathway. Press OK to apply. And similarly, select the other parts of this plaza and create a new layer and apply a color to them. Select the plazas between these commercial blocks and go to fill and sample out the color we used previously and press OK. And make selections by using the polygon selection tool. Press Alt to remove the selections. Create a new layer. Shift plus backspace to fill a color onto this. Press OK to apply. and make more selections of these remaining parts that are similar. Create a new layer and fill them with another color. So maybe this time I'll go something around grey, press OK to apply. And select the parts that are left. Create a new layer for it. And fill a color to them. I'll go something around brown. And I'll change its opacity to maybe around 20. Now 
Now we can work on the roofs of this commercial blocks. So first I'll select the Mumpty by using the rectangular selection tool. Create a new layer. I'll call it Retail Blocks and move it into a folder and use the shortcut Shift plus Backspace to fill this with the darkest grey color and select the remaining parts of this block Create a new layer and fill lesser dark grey color for this. And for another selection that are basically the projections from this building. I'll be using least dark grey color for this and press OK to apply. And do the same for this mall building. Create a new layer. I'll call it mall and move it into a folder. Let's rename these also. And make the selection on the roof of the building. Press shift to add on selections. and use fill command to fill it with the grey color. Let's make another layer and select the remaining parts of this roof that are at the different levels. And fill them with the lesser dark grey color. Press OK to apply and Ctrl plus D to deselect everything. So now we are left to add shadows and trees. So I've imported the shadows from SketchUp model. So I'll just drag and drop these shadows onto these blocks. I'll rename this layer as shadows. And let's adjust their placement. And also adjust the opacity of these shadows. I'll set it to 80. That looks a lot better now. So when you're rendering a site plan in Photoshop, always add shadows. It brings more depth onto the render. So at last we are left to add some trees onto this render. I have some tree images or PNGs that I'll just drag and drop onto this file and make copies of. So adjust the scale. Okay, this looks better and apply. Let's move it into a folder. I'll call it trees. Now we can make copies of this layer. Hold Alt plus Shift and drag to make copies of this. So make sure these trees are not actually aligned. They are at different distances from each other. So you can shuffle them and play with the placement. Let's also add a bush or sort of a plant and resize this image and maybe what I'll do is basically make these trees larger and press apply so delete the other trees and now make multiple copies of them so you can use many different images for trees that you can download from internet and use them into this render.
and make sure you copy multiple trees at once to be quicker at work and place them around the boundaries specifically of a site plan. And copy plants around these smaller patches onto the site plan. And we are almost done and at last let's add a color to these transformer boxes onto the site. Using the rectangular selection tool, create a new layer. and apply a color to this. Press OK to apply. So I'll basically sample out this color. And do the same on the other side. And at last turn on every layer as we are finished rendering this site plan. This is one way you can proceed to render an architectural site plan in Photoshop and export it into different formats of presentation. Check out more Photoshop rendering and post-production tutorials from our YouTube channel and tutorials on how to use different architecture tools and softwares. If you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thank you.